Hello, mamas. Me and Kobe are here today to tell you that there's absolutely no drama that's going on this week or recently or at all relevant in my brain or her little brain. She's a dog. She thinks kibble kibble. Where's my milk bone? And that's and yawn, big old yawn. That's what she thinks. But instead, I have something um more maybe fun and probably more valuable for you. Something that uh I've just been collecting over time. Um, and it's 15 things that you can just do for your friends. Um, and not necessarily just your friends. This could, this could be for your mother, um, your special someone, basically anyone important in your life. Um, I just compiled a list of things that I think are fun to do. And they're all cheap. They're all cheap as fuck, like probably under $10 to do for the most part. Maybe a few are like a little bit more. But um, okay, the first one is buy um, them a Louis Vuitton speaker kidding okay no for okay <coughs> sorry i ate, i just downed a whole bag of these like cheese it snap things they just came out i think and uh i have been decimating the bags my mom will buy them and i will say please mother do not buy these because i have extreme issues with self-control and eating and the only way that i'm able to not get type 2 diabetes is by not having things like cheese it snaps coming into the household but alas anyways fuck um okay first thing that i wrote down in my little notes app is uh visit them at work if you have a friend that is like working like a retail job or works at McDonald's or something, this is one of the sweetest things that you can do for them. And in addition to visiting them, you can like bring them something like bring them like maybe a snack for lunchtime. There's something so it, it's like an oasis when you're like at work and you see your friend taking time out of their day to come see you to come visit you. Um, especially if you're working like a soul draining fucking retail job, uh, even though there's like the risk of them, like maybe getting in trouble for conversing too much, like it's still worth it. If you can pop on down, pop on down to fucking Macy's, go see your friend, uh, folding up the fucking tacos at Taco Bell. I, I promise you they will appreciate it so much unless they're like, actually like, it's like a job where they're like super focused. Like maybe it's not like the gap or something. And they like, actually like. Like, don't go visit them if they work at, like, a fucking nuclear reactor plant or, like, I don't know, uh, they're, like, assembling Tesla cars. It's probably not that doable. Maybe, maybe surprise them outside their work, if that's the case. Um, next up is, uh, let them know you are lucky to have them. This one, I, I, I've tried and w uh, had great results. Because sometimes people come into your life as friends and... You might not even like realize how close you are getting, but it's good to just have like a little a little grounding moment and say, wait, I'm actually very lucky to have you as a friend. I don't know how the fuck we got here. Um, we just kind of came into each other's lives. But hey, I'm lucky to have you. Um, and they're probably thinking the same thing. And it's a nice little realization moment for the both of y'all. Um, okay, next up is if... If you have a friend that, like, mentions something that they like, something that they enjoy, like, uh, uh, say, like, a fucking anime, say they're like, I like Jujutsu Kaisen, or they, uh, like, wanna, um, like, learn the guitar or something, immediately b buy them the present. And this might sound crazy, but, like, you're always going, there's always going to be a time where you're going to need to give them a gift, okay? Whether it be their birthday or Christmas, like the two main things, the time to give them a gift will come. So rather than like waiting till it's like, say, December 20th, there's like five fucking days until Christmas, all that's left is like nasty fucking AirPods or something like, like in a gift shop, like get them something personalized well ahead of time. I can't like explain how less stressful the holidays are if you have all your christmas shopping done ahead of time um or even for their birthday uh oh also side note to this the second you learn someone's birthday put it in their fucking contact in your phone i didn't realize you can do this you can like put like their birthday in your contacts do it i have i'm notoriously bad for remembering birthdays like it's so actually brutal um 
But if you can just put it in your contacts, you'll never have to worry about that a fucking again. Um, but yeah, just plan ahead. Um, the second they like something, like buy it for them and then just hold on to it until it's their birthday or until it's christmas obviously there's like maybe some downsides like say their birthday and christmas is like nine months away maybe don't get them a gift then because they might like change their mind on what they're like they like like you might get them like a fucking thing for an anime that they like do not even fuck with anymore like nine months down the road but um just be on top of things next up print out pictures of you too. This is a super cheap thing. You can go down to CVS, go to the little Kodak Moment station, uh, go to your fucking drugstore with the little photo center, um, or literally order them online. I think you can like order like prints online for like even cheaper, probably. Um, but buy, buy, just buy little pictures. Like f- go through your camera roll, find like some of the most sentimental and cute pictures that you have of you of your friend, you and your friends, and how much is like a fucking picture frame? Like a dollar, like like one dollar. Uh, at Dollarama, like, just, like, you can have uh, the most sweetest, thoughtful gift for, like, literally a dollar fifty. Like, like, a nice framed picture, what can do more than, like, literally buying someone a PS5? Like, I'm not even kidding. So, um, that's a fun thing to do. And since it's so cheap, you can do a lot of it. You can, like, give them, like, five picture frames, which, okay, that might be a little bit excessive because, like, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I would like, I I don't think there's anyone in my fucking life that I I would have like five framed pictures of them hung up on the wall, but you know, like within, within reason. Okay. The next one I wrote down is plan. By the way, I I wrote these down like last night. I was just feeling so sentimental. I was like, wow, I'm so thankful for my friends. Um, I love them so much. And I was like, I need like some of these I have done. Some of them are like things I want to do. So like, I'm not completely speaking from experience, but I think they'd be fucking fun. Oh, lock me up. Okay. Next is plan a day. What the fuck does that mean? Okay. This doesn't mean like a road trip or anything or anything crazy, but just plan a day. Say you have like a Saturday or a Sunday where you know you and your friend are both free. Just make a loose itinerary of like five or six things that y'all can do together. Okay, so like plan like maybe like a fun little breakfast, um, an activity like going to the zoo, then... A picnic for lunch. I know it's winter. Scrap the fucking picnic. Save that for summertime. Um, have a little picnic for lunch. Then uh, go see a movie. Like, obviously, like, when you hang out with friends, like, it's nice to just, like, pull up and, like, decide what to do. But there's something that can be so exciting about, like, just, like, making a plan for a day. Being like, we're going to do these five things. It's going to be so fun. And you can make it as extravagant as you want or as cheap as you want. Like, I think the most expensive thing would probably be, like, gas or, like, transit money, but, um, I don't know, there's just something, because obviously, like, it would, like, on the highest end of things, you could, like, plan a trip to, like, Mexico or something, and that's probably gonna cost in the thousands of dollars, but planning, like, a day and having, like, a fun day to look forward to, um, can be equally as exciting as, like, looking forward to a trip, even if you're, like, just staying in your, like, your little town. There's so many things to do. How about that? Okay. Um, next up is write a song for them. This one is maybe like a little bit too romantic, like kind of gauge how your friends are. But it can also be funny. It doesn't have to be like fucking like heartfelt. Like you got like the Colleen Ballinger fucking ukulele and you're like, I love you. Like it doesn't have to be anything like that. Like it can be something silly. It can be a fucking rap or something. I don't know. Like, you can just, like, play, like, the, um, what's that one beat that, like, is used in, like, every fucking diss track, like, to death? It's like, do, 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 like, the Tay, <laughs> the Tay K beat, like, let's just, like, do a little something over that. And I know that's, like, maybe a little bit daunting, but just go on Rhyme Zone, and you will have so much fun. Just, like, type in words, get a fucking rhyme for it. And then just make some bars and make a little song. And you will impress them. Because, like, who the fuck is out here writing songs for, like, uh, like for no reason? It'll it'll be a fun little goofy thing. Um, and it's so versatile. Like, you can make them laugh. You make them cry. Like, say you need to apologize for something. Um, say, like, you let their fucking fish die or something. That maybe this is a good time to write a song. 
You could like eulogize the fish, be like, little flipper, I'm sorry you got the snipper. Um, you used to be a whipper around the tank. Sorry, I watched Wonka yesterday, and I'm, like, on a musical kick. I'm not on a musical kick, but, like, I'm, like, I have a newfound... I used to fucking hate musicals, but now I'm, like, I understand them. And I understand the people that are about that life, and I don't accept you. Or, sorry, I don't... I, 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 I love you, but I don't ex- accept your decision. But I love you. Um... Next up is offer your help. Chances fucking are your friend has something that they need to get done that they cannot do themselves. This could be so many different things. Like say they need to fix their bike and they obviously can't ride their bike to the bike repair shop because you need a fucking bike. You... Hello. So like maybe offer them a ride and like bring the bike. Things that like obviously aren't the funnest for you, they're not going to be like a, like, a real day out on the town, but like, it will probably be more than like, appreciated to them. Like, especially if it's something that like, you can like, recognize that they need to get done, but they, they haven't like, put the work in or like, put the time aside to get it done. They will appreciate it so much. I'm trying to think of like, more examples. The bike one was like, so fucking random. Um, go, like, go with them to the fucking Apple store to get their iPhone fixed. Uh, help them write, like, an essay. I don't know, but there's always going to be something that they need done that would be a lot easier to get done if they had some moral fucking support, okay? Where is the moral support in 2024? Okay, next up. Um, be their second set of eyes. This actually kind of like falls into the last one I said, but be their second set of eyes. You can like let them know, uh, things that they might miss. Um, for example, if someone's like, okay, this one, uh, tread carefully with this one. Cause this has the p- potential to go fucking wrong and wonky. But if you like notice that one of your friends is like, say in a relationship where they're not being treated how they should be treated. There's no one, no one really that will help them break out of that or like see that they deserve better. And it's kind of a funny position to be in because like, obviously say they're like, eh, they're dating someone who's kind of shit. Um, you're, you are a little bit stepping over a little boundary to be like, Hey, I don't know if this person that you love probably is the best thing for you. And, yeah, like, tread carefully with this, but, like, not just, like, for relationships, like, if they're, there's a lot of things that people miss that are in, like, broad, plain fucking view in front of their faces, um, that they just sometimes need someone's advice, like, without asking for And, you know, try this once. If a friend's like, listen, I got this. Like, some people are, like, very adverse to, like, receiving advice or help. I'm fucking one of those people. I really don't like (laughs) help at all, as you can see with my stubborn ass still just, like, being the only one running my YouTube channel and sometimes making my hair fall out because of it. But, um, you know. Some people really do need help and it's, and they're not the type to ask. And when you, when you can be that second set of eyes for them and you can show them like the gaps that they are not filling in, in their life, it can be appreciated. I think, fuck, I don't know. Um, okay. Next up, make a Minecraft server with them. How much is like a Minecraft run? Like five bucks a month. I can't describe, and mind you, this only really works for people that like are, gamers so if you have like a friend that like i mean i think this is very rare now but like if you have like a friend that like actually has never fucked with like a video game like like played fortnite for the first time in like 2021 this uh probably won't be the best thing or maybe it will be maybe they'll fall in love with video games if like they've never had someone to like introduce them to it that could also be the case but especially if you don't live in the same city as your friends having like 
a virtual place to hang out. That's not fucking Roblox, because Roblox is a clusterfuck. I'm kind of getting sick of it. But, like, Minecraft, having a Minecraft realm where you can, like, build a whole village. You use so much shit. Wow! It's so fun. It's so fun. I highly recommend. Um, I guess, like, Fortnite works, too. Fortnite and Roblox works, too. They're, like, both, like, kind of virtual spaces. And, fuck, I wish that, like, VR was at a point where we could have like like what they wanted the metaverse to be why the fuck couldn't the metaverse actually be fun and cool because that would be great but instead the metaverse looks like everything's made out of fucking play-doh and it gives you motion sickness after 10 minutes and you throw the fuck up like i would i know the apple vision thing is coming out like in next month like i think in february um for three thousand five hundred dollars really awesome i love how like in my predictions i like said that it was gonna come out and i was like and it's gonna be fifteen hundred dollars and it's gonna be way too expensive and i thought that was like the highest end they could possibly go and then they said that nope it'll be thirty five hundred dollars holy fucking shit ah! okay sorry tangent moving on cook a meal for them food is a fucking love language especially nowadays in the age of doordash in the age of uber eats um, if you can cook, sorry, everyone just like look at my fucking nasty ass nails real quick that are just like bulging out of my cuticle that I still have yet to get filed down because I'm scared that they'll file it down and then there will be no nail left and then fucking then what? And then what? <laughs> um, cooking is a love language and it doesn't matter if you cannot cook because there is plenty of recipes that are, like, easy enough to follow where, like, it's impossible to fuck it up. Um, Google vegan one pot pasta primavera. I used to make that shit all the time, and it's so good. Boom. I just got a notification. Trump's bonkers plan to weaponize an archaic law for mass deportation. Okay. Um. If you... This is, like, all honestly, like... This one really is for if you have a romantic interest, cook for them, boom, they will fall up. And this, not to like, actually, no, I'm not going to say that thought. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, I like when I cook for friends, which has been very like few times, like don't, don't be thinking that I'm like out here like chefing the fuck up for everyone. But like, it truly is like always so appreciated. Um... You will never feel underappreciated if you cook a meal, I think. Anyways, moving on, moving on. Start journaling together. There's plenty of, like, kind of, like, guided journals that you can do with your friends um, or just by yourself. But, like, uh, like go to, like, fucking Calendar Club or go to Barnes & Noble and find, like, a fun, like, journaler or a planner or... There's so many of those, like, fucking books that you write in. Like, I don't know what to call them other than, like, book that you write in. Um... But there's so many fun things like that. And just, like, get two copies and hold each other accountable. And, like, each morning you can, like, write your little thing. And say it's, like, a journal. Y'all you don't have to, like, read each other's journals. Like, he read my dream journal. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. But, um, like, each morning you say, like, hey, you write in your journal? Yeah, I wrote my journal. And it's, like, a fun little thing. There, like, there's something to be said about activities that are done separately and kind of like secretly, but you're both doing them at the same time. So it still feels like a shared experience. Um, that is very fun to me. Yada, 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 moving on. Exercise together. This one, sorry if this doesn't sound fun, but you have to fucking try it. I am not like a gym bro in any sense. Um, I'm not like an advocate. I'm not like one of those like healthy fucking and small people. I don't know. But like going for like runs or going to the gym with a friend is such a good bonding way it's 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 good in so many ways it's good to hold each other accountable to do something that is good for you um you kind of trauma bond especially if it's like the gym because it's like you're both going through like a painful horrific experience but you feel stronger which leads to the third point you grow together you grow together which is one of the most the, the best ways to like um, strengthen your friendship is actively helping each other because you start to like associate your friendship with helping yourself and building yourself if that makes any fucking sense um 
boom. And, like, I get, like, obviously, like, going to the gym together, like, might not be ideal because, you know, gym memberships are, like, increasingly expensive. But, like, I mean, you could go for runs or go for bike rides together. Like, even that shit, boom, exercise, and I don't know. Try it. Fucking try it. Um, kind of hard though to go for a bike ride and like a run, especially now that it is winter and fucking miserable, but moving on make this one. I love this one. I love this one. I love make matching personalized ring and text tones for each other. By the way, I'm realizing it really sounds like I'm reading these off of like a fucking like, um, like teen Vogue article. No, I wrote these down. These came straight from the fucking dome. Cause I'm a genius. Okay. Sorry. Make matching personalized ring and text tones for each other. This shit is so fun. Obviously, there's like the default ringtones that are free. Um, but cough it up. Cough up a fucking dollar and get a fun little ringtone for you and your friends. Like you can get like the fucking minion beat. You can get minions singing any song in like the the like iPhone ringtone app store. I think there's even a way to do it for free, but I think you have to. I can't remember how you do it. I feel like you have to like jailbreak your phone or something. But um, no, it's such a fun way to personalize your communication with your friend. Because like, I feel like we don't put enough time and thought into like our communications through text. Okay, the amount of motherfuckers that are like my best friends are like my mom. And it's like a blank profile picture and the regular text tone. I'm like, there's no fucking spice there. So it's fun to switch it up and give them like their own, their own little text tone. It sounds silly. It sounds fucking silly. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. All these things are so simple. That's why I'm fucking yelling them at you because they're so easy to do and you won't think much of it. But then you'll be like, wait, this was actually such a fun thing to do. And Ben's a fucking genius. And he's Cupid for friendships. My no, oh, my fucking right nostrils plug is driving me insane. Okay. Next up uh, is have FaceTime movie nights. This one is kind of more catering towards uh, friends that are long distance. But when a friend moves away, it is, it's very hard. It's very hard. I'm not going to lie to you to have a long distance friendship. Um, especially if like you have no like anchoring times where you get to like see each other again. Like say your friend like moves away for college and... And they're like, far as fuck, and you have, like, no clue when they're coming back. This is, I'm gonna give it to you straight. This is one of the only ways that you can, like, keep your friendship up. Is like, having fun little FaceTime movie nights, having, like, virtual uh, play times on Minecraft and shit. Like, sorry, didn't mean to get fucking dark there, but truly, like, you kind of, you kind of have to do these like little virtual things plus facetime movie nights are fun i have one in an hour and a half and we're watching um a studio ghibli movie i'm very fucking excited um and you know a lot of bad things came from the pandemic duh you motherfucker but like i think one of the best things at least for me that came from the pandemic is finding out that like facetime can feel just as real as like in person communication like seeing your friend in person which sounds fucking crazy and delusional but genuinely like there's been times where i'll be like on facetime with my friends playing minecraft and it feels like you're there like it, it actually feels like we're there and like i can have like a week completely alone in my house but it doesn't feel like i was alone because i had my friends okay and the last one Tell them that you love them i know this is fucking cheesy and i know a lot of people are torn on this but fucking tell them you love them we should we don't we don't need to reserve the word love just for like relationships of like a year plus or no actually no fuck if you haven't said i love you yet and y'all have been dating for a year break the fuck up um relationships with like three months plus or like your mom and your dad like you can you have love for your friends so just fucking tell them like no you don't need to make it a big old thing and i get like there's a whole conversation like oh okay well then you're like dampening the meaning of the word i love you shut the fuck up you can love in so many different ways and for so many different people it doesn't have to be this like fucking like magical crystal that you can only give to your special partner and once you give it away you can never have another one like no you have plenty of love to give you can give that shit to everyone 
Um, you can give that shit to your mailman. You can say I love you to fucking. They might be a little bit weirded out if you say I love you to like your UPS fucking driver. But try it, try it, see what happens. Like, my mouth is really dry. But on that note, let's read this week's drama. This week's drama comes from at thirty percent sunlight. If you want me to read your drama on a future episode of Drama Mama, comment it. Just comment it down below on this YouTube video version of this podcast. And um, keep it short, baby. One sentence. That's it. Otherwise, you're cut. You're off the fucking volleyball team. Um, whoa, I just like channeled something from my childhood where I literally got cut from a volleyball team. I don't know why that just like came out <laughs> here. Um, but they said, hey, Ben, my drama involves my friend who I think uses me for car rides and borrowing money. She's a lovely person, a hard worker, but I'm getting tired of her not getting the hint that I can't keep doing this. What should I tell her straight up? This is tricky. Because, I mean, it sounds like she is, like, obviously in a place, like, if she's borrowing money from you, like, probably not doing well financially. And I feel like people don't usually, like, it's not a light thing to ask for, like, like to borrow money from a friend. Um, so I would, I would assume that she's probably, like, in a very tight situation. But she also has to realize that, like... As much as you are her friend, you can't be, like, her soul. Like, you're, you, can't, you can't be the fucking Uber driver. And you can't be the bank. That's what the bank and the Uber drivers are for. Um, so, I, th I think you should just, like, tell her straight up, like, I appreciate you. I, like, hope you um, can get the help you can. And, yes, I can still drive you around here and there. And, like, yes, like, if you really need it, you can borrow some money. But this is getting a little bit too much for me. And I think you might need to find other ways to get around um but i love you but you are asking too much of me because some people d i don't think can like sometimes realize when they are asking too much of someone um i've experienced this a lot in like some friendships and relationships like where yeah they just they 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 don't really have a sense of like asking too much of someone um they almost like think you are like their servant and i don't know what causes that in someone's brain and you know maybe it's partially me too of like being stubborn and like not wanting to do things sometimes but um just get get them on the same page and be like listen listen i'm not an uber driver i'm not a taxi driver and i'm not chase fucking bank so go chase the bag. Okay, sorry, man. We're ending this podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I truly do love you so much. Thank you for all the love on the podcast recently. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. I'll see you later.